Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is the November BAM Box Horror. As you can see, if you watch the pop culture video, uh, that one also came in a totally blank box. They had a little explainer inside just saying that it's because they're going to be doing some different artwork on their boxes, so this is kind of during a transitionary period. Uh, a few things to throw out there. One, this box is pretty late. Uh, not fault of BAM Box. It was the U.S. Postal Service. I think part of what uh, really delayed it was the... Um, holiday that was declared for the passing of George H.W. Bush, so totally understandable with that. Although it seemed like there was a little something else that delayed it as well. Might just be that, you know, this is peak package time, so, you know, whatever. It's late, which sucks for this channel, because when I get boxes late, typically, uh, I go from getting like five, six hundred, seven hundred views to getting like maybe two hundred. Maybe two hundred, so... Uh, if you could help me out for this to other people, let them know they should check this unboxing out if they like BAM box unboxings. Also, if you could subscribe up there for me, hit the notification bell if you want to know anytime I have a video come out. Also, put some comments down here. Let's talk about the contents of this and just anything nerdy, anything horror, to be honest, because I love horror stuff in general. So I'm down to talk about that. Give me some likes, whatever. Uh, but really, it takes you like no time to subscribe, and it really means a lot to me in the long run. And then if I get enough people and I can monetize this, I will get more boxes. You can let me know what you're really looking for. And I might even do some uh, giveaways too, so that would be fun. Anyway, um, oh yeah, one other thing. If people watch my pop culture unboxing, no spoilers for it here, but um, go back and watch it. Uh, I had an issue where I got a 1UP um, card, but I didn't actually get a 1UP item in the box. So I contacted Bambox and... Um, they have a way where you can just kind of contact them through their community on Facebook. You can just send a message through Messenger. So they have like an automatic response that'll say they'll get to you within 48 hours. But they didn't, so I sent them another uh, thing because I was like, I don't know if they're still doing it this way or if I have to send an email somewhere or whatever. And then I didn't get a response again. So it ended up being like four days total. So I posted something on their Bandbox community page on Facebook which is really cool for people who are actually getting the BAM box. Uh, people can like post things that they're trying to sell or trade uh, and just like talking about nerdy stuff in general. So it's really nice community. Um, so I posted something on there and actually the CEO, uh, Adam MacArthur, who's very involved, commented and let me know, yes, you know, that's still a valid thing. Um, and he let me know that just so I know, um, every time you submit a request through their messenger, it bumps you to the back of the line. So just submit one and wait. And I was just thrown off because it says within 48 hours and I didn't hear anything. So I was like, is this even still working? I better check. So I was actually doing myself a disservice by sending a second thing because that took me to the back of the line. But the one of their moderators on there actually reached out to me. Shout out to Carrie Lynn. She's really cool. Um, she was like, I, you know, I don't do the customer service, but I might be able to assist you. You know, what's your problem? And she asked me for like a photo of it and she's going to get it to the customer service people. So thank you, Carrie Lynn. So I say all that to say they do have good customer service. They're really slammed right now because of the time of year it is, but, um, they will, you know, let you know and they're very accommodating. So just a nice positive story. All right. So the tissue paper. One for my cat, two for my cat. That's right. And you might hear crinkling while we're doing the unboxing. That means she's already playing in it. That's possible. Oh, uh, so I think there's a prop in here. I think it came out of the little thing. Oh, this is the little explainer if people want to read it on why the box doesn't look the way it does. Just pause on that and you can read that. Um, they revealed three of the franchises for this box, and I was only excited about one of them, to be honest. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know based off the franchises they said what the autograph would probably be, but I might be wrong because they didn't tell all the franchises. Anyway, I'm um, going to do the prop first because I'm least excited about the props, typically. I don't know this reference. What is this? And it's got, like, holes down here two holes what is that in reference to is this like a baby's rattle i don't know maybe because one of the franchises that they did reveal i haven't seen the movie so maybe that's what this is from i'll have to find out from the spoiler sheet anyway moving on we'll find out what that was the pin okay 
So the franchise I'm really excited about, I really hope it's the pin. If it's not the pin, I hope it's the art print. Either of those, I'll be happy. So this is done by Wizard of Barge, is the name of the person who created this pin. And this is for... This is going to be bad. I'm a huge horror fan. I have not seen the movie Creepshow yet. All right, people, don't slam me too hard in the comments for that. The, the problem is, when I say things like, I'm a huge horror fan, but I haven't seen X... People are like, what? I'm like, there's so many movies out there, though. It's so tough. It is so tough. But I'm working on it. And Creepshow's on my queue to watch through the Shutter pay-for service. It's like Netflix, but just horror movies. It's like 50 bucks for a year. You should definitely get it if you're into horror. Anyway, this is for Creepshow. That's a cool pin. I like that. I get it, because I know Creepshow actually was a comic book. So, yeah. No, that's nice. Yeah, it looks good. Interested to see what the variants would have ended up being for that. Okay, so that, that was not the franchise I was super excited about. So hopefully it's this. Oh, come on. Okay, so, the, yep, it is. It is the art print. So I'm excited. This is by Jason Brower. Or Brower. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Demons to some, angels to other. I got number 467 out of 500. Hellraiser. One of my favorites. Get a good look at that. Got everyone on there. You have Pinhead, Female Cenobite, Butterball, Chatterbox, and Ashley Lawrence's character, Kirsty. Nice. Look at that. I'm sorry for the glare. Now there's the signature down here. Number 467 out of 500, like I said. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's cool. I like it. It looks like this actually may be a variant. I didn't feel a one-up card in there, but I think because it's out of 500, that would be a variant. So maybe what happened is they accidentally put a one-up in my pop culture box when they were supposed to put it in this box. I don't know. We'll find out. And then the autograph is from Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street. Rodney Eastman? Okay. Okay, this is this is number four. Oh, three and oh, okay. I'm sorry, he was in three and four. Rodney Eastman. Okay, cool, nice. I like that. Right there, this dude. If people, that's a good picture too. I like it. And the great thing about getting things like this signed is when they give it to you, then for people like me who who actually like go to horror conventions, I can take this with me and I can see if any of the other people might be there and also get them to sign it, which is really, really nice. I haven't been able to do that yet with any of them. I had the opportunity for the expansion pack I got where um, the kid who played Billy from the new It movie had signed. This is like this nice big poster and it had everyone on it though. Uh, some of the other kids were at a convention I was at, but there were too many other celebrities I really wanted to meet and I was budgeting myself, so I didn't get to do it. But one day, one day it'll happen. I have a feeling that for a lot of those kids, that's not it for, for the horror convention circuit. They're going to be hitting that for some time, in my opinion. Because, you know, horror community is awesome, and they will keep supporting these people. But yeah, that's a nice autograph. I like that. I'm a fan. Art print, I'm down. Autograph, I'm down. Pin, I'm down. Don't know the prop. I'm usually not big on the props anyway. Okay, so that was it. Um, okay, so the one franchise that I was like not at all excited about ended up being the prop which is fitting for me because it's like whatever okay so that was from the movie The Hills Run Red uh, never seen I've actually heard that it's a pretty solid film so I do plan on checking it out at some point granted Creepshow will come before that so okay so the, the Hills Run Red it's the baby face rattle I guess that has something to do with the bad guy um, yeah so there you go that's the big bad in the Hills Run Red. And, yep, looks like that. All right. So then we have the possible um, variants for the, for the autograph. And so we have a, uh, yeah, one of, obviously one of, the, the, the more rare one, as you can imagine, is the cooler one. This out of 99, like, legit looks like the number four poster. That's pretty awesome. That's really cool. I, I hope one day I get I get a signed item kind of like that. One day. If I stay 
if I stay with Bambox long enough, at some point it'll happen. Uh, then for the Creep Show, um, ooh, I kind of like I like this. I like this style. Okay, see, look. I don't like how they put that right over top of it. <laughs> it's hard to see, but um, out of 99, out of 250, and that's the regular one. They all look really good. I like that style. It kind of reminds me of if people have seen on Cartoon Network late at night the um, the, the animated uh, adult show called Super Jail. It looks like that style of animation. So I actually like that. It's very different and avant-garde, kind of. So I like that. And yes, I actually did end up getting the limited edition thing. So there was no one-up in this, no one-up card, but there was a one-up item. And then there was a one-up card in my pop culture box and no one-up item. So I think I'm going to message Bambox and say, just forget about the pop culture thing because of this situation. So then, because here you see it. Out of 500, that's what I ended up getting, the, you know, the gray and white one. And then there was the out of color, which actually, eh. you know, typically I like the color version more, but with this, I actually do like the black and white more. So I got lucky. And then for the giveaway, they're doing a Robert England signed Freddy 8x10. Yep. So awesome to whoever... Let me get a little closer. Awesome for whoever ended up getting that. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a good box. Um, like I, like I kind of always say, I don't really care about the prop replicas. Um, I'm never going to be into it. Here and there, there have been some prop replicas where I'm like, I don't, I don't really like prop replicas. But this is actually really cool. Um, but usually I'm just kind of like, I know I'm going to get one, and I'm just like, eh, I'm not going to care about it. And that's the way it is with this. But for the things I look for... They did do a really good job on this. The pin looks really, really nice, as usual. It's always high quality and nice. Uh, very happy that they put a Hellraiser thing in there, and it was art print. This is going up on my wall. I really like this. And sweet autograph, man. You can never go wrong with some Nightmare on Elm Street. Never. And this pairs up with the last month. Um, I'm sorry, that's a spoiler. But if you didn't watch the last month one, go back. I didn't say who it was. Actually, there were two boxes for October. The Pop Culture and the Horror did Nightmare on Elm Street autographs. So go back to that. So I now have three Nightmare on Elm Street autographs through Bambox. Plus, I actually went to a horror convention earlier this year and met Robert England himself. So in one year, I ended up with four Nightmare on Elm Street autographs, which is kind of funny. Um, not funny, but awesome, actually. Funny slash awesome. So this is really... These are really nice. I love that stuff. So this, you know, this is a really good BAM box, honestly. That's what I'm looking for, man. That is a really good one. So I will say that for uh, the December box, they're doing some special stuff. Adam MacArthur had said that he's giving, like, a special gift to people who are signing up for BAM box horror. So people, you should sign up if you have interest for the December one. Hurry up. Uh, before it goes away because he's giving a gift and that will be an autograph that is bigger than what they would normally put in the band box it would normally be an expansion pack which usually costs between like 60 and 90 dollars um, but they're going to put just put that autograph in the regular box which is really nice because the box itself is like 26 27 dollars before shipping after shipping it ends up being around like 30 ish um so also i'm going to put a link down here for you to use if you want to um sign up for a BAM box. Uh, if for some reason it doesn't end up working, just send me an email. Um, my email address is brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. It's for a beer podcast that I have been doing for about six years now, uh, spelled B-R-E-W-T-A-L, and then battlepodcast at gmail.com. Uh, send it there. Also, if you just kind of want to get in contact with me, you can do that as well. But put some comments down there. Please subscribe. Give me some likes. Let's talk about some nerdy horror stuff because I really love to engage in horror talk. I'm also really big into like intellectual horror. So, you know. Oh, the other thing real quick. Uh, there is, uh, I kind of want to say it out loud what one of the franchises is for the horror box in December because I'm really excited about it and I feel like if I let people know that, um, maybe it would get them to sign up if they're a nerd like me too. Uh, okay, I'm just going to say... It's going to be the last thing I say, and then I'm going to sign off. So I'm going to say spoiler alert right here. And then I'm going to say what that franchise is. So if you don't want to know, turn back now.
Turn it off. Okay. For all you people who stuck around, Phantasm. There's going to be an item from Phantasm in the December horror box. Mm. That's all I want to say. Like, I'm a huge Phantasm fan. I know there's some closet Phantasm fans out there. It's not a huge fandom within horror film, but it should be much bigger than it is. So anyone out there who's for Phantasm, you're probably going to want this box. This is what I've been waiting for for over a year now, is for this to hit. So... Anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out, and until next time, keep it brutal.